Greetings RC friends, welcome to Props and Wheels. It's the last day of 2021 and I'm back with another RC airplane review. It has been a while since I did airplanes because the weather hasn't been that good outdoors. Today it is not that nice but at least it is not raining and it's not too cold. This package I received from AliExpress. Let's open it up. It is a two channel airplane. You may already know that I'm kind of obsessed with two-channel airplanes and the reason being that they provide entry to most of the people who want to start with RC airplane flying. Unfortunately, the good ones are few and far between. There are only a couple out of 30 that probably I've reviewed that I really recommend. Others, they are really bad. There are some okay in between. So we have a microjet micro jet it's not a jet it has two little propellers and two little motors pusher props but it looks like a jet so this one let's see it says the minator fx usually the fx series is Feixiong. that's the company's name and you may also hear these as flybear brand the fx minator and i had a couple flybear airplanes in the past and most of my experience has been positive Let's open it up and see what is inside. So here it is, very basic. The plane itself comes fully assembled except putting on the landing gear and it is very easy. These the parts came out of a small package and you basically put these in, I don't know if I'm putting it correctly, that probably doesn't matter, but especially the front landing gear. And they, uh, there is a very soft nose, which made from rubber, and they put it on with tape. I'm assuming that I can take this tape off, but I can leave it like that for now, probably for packaging purposes. And the battery is already in here. Let's take it out and see what the capacity is. So it is 3.7 volt, one cell, 150 milliamp hour battery. It's quite small, but usually these don't need much power to stay aloft. As I mentioned, two little motors driving two pusher props. And here is the controller, the transmitter. It's just, this is the throttle. This is a right and left bank or turn, whatever you would like to call it. And it takes two AA batteries, let's put those in. And turns on, turns off, very basic. Here is the charging adapter, it just goes to a USB adapter. And they provided one instruction manual on one side, it is Chinese on the, on the other side, it's English, very basic. I mean, these don't need much explanation except you know, how to bind it, how to calibrate them. Looks really nice, black and kind of a yellowish, faded yellowish uh, scheme. And they also provided one set of propellers. And just make sure that if you have to replace the propellers, replace it the correct one. One is called A. And one is called B, one turns clockwise, the other one turns counterclockwise. And uh, the way that these work is by differential truss, if you want to turn right or left, you know, you increase the truss on one, decrease on the other one. So it's kind of turning and bank at the same time. And then you adjust the climb and descent by increasing or decreasing the throttle, or meaning the power to both of these pusher props. Very basic. And usually these have stabilization, stability control. And I'm glad that on some of these models they have been including an on-off switch. This is very good because then you don't, every time you are finished, you can just turn it off and you don't have to take the, pull the battery out. I do not recommend leaving the battery for a long time, but at least until you take it home and then put it on charging, you can leave it in there. Let's connect the battery. There should be some juice. I'm going to just connect, turn it on. Usually you turn on the 
airplane first and then there should be a red blinking light here meaning that it's searching for signal and then you turn on the transmitter and then you usually go up it's as you see the red light is blinking you go all the way up with throttle and then it's blinking faster come down and then it stops blinking and <laughs> and it's alive okay <laughs> it is back it is very eager to fly hopefully hopefully it will fly out of the box my experience with these two channel airplanes they design it very tail heavy I think they do it so that they can fly slowly in calm weather and then the stability control, the gyro that stabilizes the airplane when they veer off course will keep it straight and level. However, it doesn't work with wind. When an airplane is tail heavy, it is inherently unstable. So it is like a wind sock facing the wind the wrong way, it starts turning around. So what I had to do with many of these airplanes is add some weight at the nose to move the center of gravity uh, a little towards forward and make it inherently stable so at least like it will fly straight and level. So let's check the stability control. So I'm going to give you a little bit of throttle. So when I change its attitude, it should respond. As you see, the pitch changes on one on both actually, so it is it is working. And then for turning, one turns faster than the other one, and then just rotates the plane. Connect the charger to an adapter, and let's connect the battery. And the charging light came on. Once this goes off, it means the battery is fully charged. While the battery is charging, let me show you a couple of things. So this model, this size comes in two different models. This is FX635 and there is another one called FX620. I believe I, I also have one of these that is waiting to be reviewed. So I'm hoping that to do that review next after this one. So this is the current one. As you see, you can find the model number on the box, FX635. 635 and I mentioned that I had FX or Feixiang or Flybear two channel airplanes before. Let me show you one. So this is called FX 820 and this is a larger version kind of like the larger version. I, it's not exact the same probably there are some changes but is a slightly different model. The yellow one is claiming 38 grams flying weight and this one is claiming only 24 grams, very lightweight. Of course, the wingspan is shorter. This is 250 millimeters or 25 centimeters. This is 290 millimeters, the yellow one. And I had really good experience with this one, the yellow one. I just had to add a little bit of weight to the nose and it has been flying great. This is one of my go-to airplanes. It's not a bud, it's not like top three but it's one of the top 10 airplanes so far that I purchased as two channel airplanes go. Let's quickly do a waiting session here. Let's make sure that it's not touching the ground. So I'm going to put these foams and tear. And let me, what's the best way of putting it? Like this probably. It's nothing is touching. It is just over 28 grams without the battery. Let's add the battery. Let's balance it so nothing is touching. It is 32 grams. Let me tell you how much I got this for from AliExpress. It was at this store, uh, it's a long name, shop 5877810 store. It was selling for $19.14 and then with the shipping and tax I paid a little over $25 which I think is a good price for a two channel airplane if it flies well. I never buy any two channel airplanes that cost more than $30 so that's my bottom line. Whenever I'm buying two channel airplanes I pay ship to my door less than $30. We are out in the local park. The weather is quite good the wind is shoving only two miles per hour sometimes one and it is comfortable it's 42 degrees fahrenheit uh, it's a little uh, gloomy but i don't care this is december 31st the last day of 2021 and having a day like this is a present for flying radio controlled airplanes so 
it is time to fly this small Minator, that's what the company calls it, the Delightfully RC series. Whoever coined that term was quite smart, I think. Delightfully RC, I like it. And let's see if this is going to fly as well as the older brother, the FX820, the yellow one that I reviewed before. I'll put the link over here as well as in the description. And usually, as I mentioned earlier, these tend to be a little tail heavy. If that's the case, I brought friends with me, Mini Money and Mo. <laughs> this is a dime and a penny and a nickel, so these may help. If these don't help, then I may have to take out the big guns, the quarter. Well, if it is going to need the quarter to balance, then it may be irredeemable. Such a small plane needing that much of weight will be very difficult to balance probably. And also I have my other great friend, the magic tape. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is turn on the plane. The little, I don't know if you can see it, but the little red light is blinking right now. And put it on the ground, flat, and then pull the throttle, stick down, turn on the transmitter, up down on the throttle, it's ready to go, and wish me luck. The first flight I'm going to with the landing gear. So if it flies well, that's great. If not, we'll do something about it. Uh, the wind is, I think, coming a little bit too much from my left-hand side, but hey, it's a low wind, I don't care. As I said, yeah, these tend to be a little uh, too tail heavy and it's showing. Do you see that high alpha flight? On, on a day like this, it is okay because, let's see how I cut down the power, so let's, let's see how it glides. It is okay when there is no wind like this, but when there is a wind, it becomes very unstable. And you can see the figure oscillations. I just gave a slight, very slight, probably 30% throttle, and it is flying high alpha. I think they made it uh, such that this will be easy to fly in a no wind condition, no wind situation for beginners so they can fly slowly and have plenty of time. So I'd cut down the power and it's gliding. The glide is quite good actually. I mean, it's the, look at the glide. It can land itself almost. You know, the way it is, it is good. It's flyable out of the box. I have seen much worse than this in terms of tail heaviness. So they are adjusting. I mean, look, how little uh, throttle I'm using right now and it is amazing it's flying really nice in this low wind situation I would like to test it again when we have five miles per hour winds or more it doesn't want to come down I mean I keep uh, decreasing the throttle and then during the turns of course it's increasing the power so at least one of the propellers one of the motors so it <laughs> goes up again during the turns Instead of losing altitude during the turn, it gains a little bit slight altitude. And let's see if it is proportional. I forgot to test it on the bench. This is the most deflection. This is less deflection. Yeah, I think this is on off. It's not proportional. Like I cut down and then suddenly it just cuts down. It doesn't have any rates. I mean, for a small plane like this, I don't care, I don't care about the weight. I'm not going to add weight, I mean, this is flying good. You know, in the future I may add a little bit of weight just to make it fly a little faster, but I mean, the way it is, the way it glides, it's perfect. Oh, didn't quite catch it. I'm trying to, not to get into the mud. It's uh, really muddy out here, but now uh, what I'm going to do is, I mean, there's not much to do actually, but just other than taking off the landing gear and see if it changes anything, I mean, it's going to make it a little lighter, maybe a gram lighter. And um, it will give less drag. Let's put it over here. And without the landing gear. This should fly forever. I mean, I don't know. I've been in the air for two minutes. It should probably fly another eight, ten minutes. I mean, very, very little bit of weight. 
uh, on the nose will make it a little uh, more fun for me probably I can fly a little faster but this is definitely using up uh, less battery this way with mean, the throttle I'm giving right now and what has see what happens if I give full throttle whoa hi alpha it's climbing and I know oh, it's all I can probably put it into figured oscillation go up like that and then cut down the power and then oh yes <laughs> I almost did a loop did you see that by you know throttling it down to zero and then giving like full throttle and let's do it again it's fun so cut down and give full and then to do it again whoa <laughs> yes it did it oh another one okay that's enough I think <laughs> that's enough there are people around oh the, the the dog is not that happy okay all right and not more than half throttle you don't need to give more than half throttle <laughs> and on the box I didn't uh, mention it but it was uh, saying something about stunt plane <laughs> maybe it is maybe it is a stunt plane isn't that funny <laughs> you can make it the stunts force it can I do rolls like right left right left not really no because it doesn't have much turn authority they, they made it such that it flies really gently and easily and by the way yeah the the dogs they want to chase it usually so can i ask you a question yes of course Where i mean you do you do you mind being on the video i'm doing a youtube video right now no, no, no it's fine yep so is there a rotor in the back i can't see the rotor no uh it is a really small uh i'll, I'll land and show you Maybe we'll win, uh, uh, my, to, I'm saying, saying to my viewers, maybe we'll win, uh, okay, I got it, nothing, nothing, okay, so don't worry about it. There's rotors here. There are two motors, right. and these are pusher props. Pusher. Yes, right. it is just pushing the air backward. The way I, I'm seeing the, the top come up, so it had to be the, from the back. Yes, well, um, I mean, if it gives power, this is a little tail heavy, it starts rising. Yeah. So it's only two channels. The more power you give to the throttle, this is the throttle stick it will start rising and then you cut down the power and it will come down right. and then right left turn it just gives differential thrust do you see yeah, and yeah. there's a gyro to keep it do you hear it yeah it, i'm not doing this it's doing it if it goes out of balance it will balance it out and then keep it flying stably so there's a lot to that even yes. though there's only one so it had to be fairly expensive guess how much it was one ship ship to my door 110 dollars this was $25. Get out of here. Get out of here. Shipped to my door and $19, everything. Everything. That's amazing. This was 19 something and the shipping was $5. Did it come with this? It came with everything except the battery, two AA batteries, that's it. Is this all a real life model of airplane? Is it a yes, this is F-35, the Lightning. That's a the Lockheed, Lockheed Martin. Plane. Look at the nose. I mean, even yeah, it hits somebody, it's, it's like it's soft. Practically so it's so it's it rubber. Crashes, is it, is rubber. It it's rubber, yeah. Like a latex? Oh, yeah. Rubber, yeah. But if it crashes, there's some brake. Yeah. Like other I think, folks, I think we have a new entries to our RC, two new gentlemen. Uh, are you planning to do this? Uh, I mean, Fly for 25, no, I, th I literally thought it was like 110. Because that's pretty inexpensive. Well, I and would, it, I would consider, but I, yeah. I would buy one. How old is your grandchild? Huh? $10? Oh, perfect. I mean, I have, I have shown uh, seven-year-old kids to fly with these kind of things. You just need a, a day like this, calm like this. And does it go fast? No, it doesn't go fast. I mean, I, I can add a little bit of weight to the nose, so it will become a little uh, oh, okay. so nose heavy and it will fast, fly faster. It has then. a lot of uh, air resistance. Yeah, look, I mean, I cut down the power. It's gliding right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's gliding. And I'm doing this thing? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I was giving, so I was giving a lot of throttle and then cutting down the throttle and then doing, giving it again and then it goes into figured oscillations and then it, wow. then it can do, you know, strange things and, but I want to keep it from the dogs. And I have a channel, it's called Props and Wheels. If you go to YouTube, 
I'll be posting this video probably sometime tonight. I like two channel airplanes because these are so simple and so inexpensive that anybody, that no one can have. If somebody likes flying, they wouldn't have any excuse not to start you know, flying. My, my and do you have airliners and that sort of thing? Or only, only <laughs> fighters? No? It's, it's so flexible and so good with you know, crashes. And so easy to fly. I mean, you are, but look, I'm not even touching it right now. I mean, if I don't touch, of course, it's going to go out of sight. It should fly at least 10 minutes. I have airplanes like this one that fly um, 15 to uh, 16 minutes on one, one little, little battery, yeah. And as simple as that, let, let me complete my video, Anna. All right, folks, we have a winner. Finally, finally, a two-channel airplane that flies great out of the box. And it was only $25. And uh, in about 15 minutes, I'll be flying the red version. The other one, the sibling FX620 that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And I'm expecting the same kind of performance. I love Flybear series, the FX series. They all fly good. The bigger ones, I had to add a little bit of weight. This doesn't need any weight. But you should not be flying in a high wind either. This is small. This is only wingspan is 250 millimeters, 25 centimeters. That corresponds to 10 inches. That's it. This is tiny, 30 grams. I highly recommend it. This is going to become one of my, you know, top five probably. Um, it's great. I cannot say anything more. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for the other video I'll be posting right after this. It will be for the red version, the 620, FX620 version. And stay safe and healthy. If you are watching in 22, Happy New Year. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.